All right, here we go. Question number 12 for our college algebra, homework number four in my lab math. It asks us to use long division to find the quotient and remainder when the polynomial is divided by this expression, d of x. And so over here, I've got my long division already set up and ready to go. Let's crank it out. First step, how many times does x go into x cubed? Well, x cubed divided by x is x squared. And then the x squared needs to distribute. So x squared times x gives me x to the third. x squared times 6 gives me a plus 6x squared. And then when I draw the line, I have to change the sign and then combine. x cubed minus x cubed cancel. I've got 1x squared minus 6x squared. That's a minus 5x squared. And then the minus 21x can drop. And then we're going to rinse and repeat. Now, how many times does x go into negative 5x squared? Well, negative 5x squared divided by x is negative 5x. And then again, I'm going to distribute. So negative 5x times x, that's a negative 5x squared. Negative 5x times 6, that's a negative 30x. And then remember, we're going to draw the line, change the sign, and then combine. x squared's cancel. What is negative 21x plus 30x? That is a 9x. And then the 54 can drop. And then we're going to rinse and repeat one more time. So how many times does x go into 9x? 9x divided by x, that is a plus 9. And then we're going to distribute. So we have 9 times x gives me 9x. 9 times 6, that's a plus 54. Draw the line, change the sign, and then combine. Everything cancels, leaving me a 0 remainder. So the x squared minus 5x plus 9, that is our quotient. And that goes in this box, x squared uh, minus 5x plus 9. And the remainder is 0. Let's see if I lied to you. <laughs> no, that is the right answer. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Or you can text me if you'd like. And thanks for watching.